Welcome back. Welcome back to the 90s. Looky here, we are just finishing up tillage. I'm trying not to wrap around a telephone pole right now. Just getting the inroads done. But this is not what we're doing today. We got big plans today. Let's get to it. Alright, so that's the last of the chiseling at least. We're going to fold this up, get that all nice and folded up. And then, uh, yeah, this thing is just a wee bit dirty, so we might want to clean this off a little bit. Oh, got to turn the blinkers on. But I just got our little field of soybeans last year, our soybeans that we kept in the field for uh, the birds, and primarily we were trying to feed the deer that was our bigger goal. uh i'm about ready to most likely make a questionable call as in uh farming i have no idea if this is going to work out come on let's let's be honest no one's ever claimed like stevio you make smart decisions but we are going to try to flip a farm yeah a dairy farm that is I don't know if this is going to work out. This will probably, hopefully this doesn't make me uh, go broke. There's a little uh, Timmy. He's out there uh, disking up. So that's the second time he's actually dissed that field. i got to make sure I actually stay on the center of the road here. We'll let him get at it. So uh, he has a little bit of disking to get ahead of the planter. But it's all right. While we're waiting for Timmy catch up and uh, disking we have to go see about a dairy farm hey did you guys know I got a three-wheeler yeah I've been enjoying that three-wheeler love a three-wheeler yeah it's so convenient having a three-wheeler on the farm but I actually might need this in the back of my old K1500 here Love this thing. Such a sharp looking half ton. I know it's just a half ton, but we got our old brand new Cummins diesel here. And I know probably uh, we put some aftermarket tow mirrors on it. Tow mirrors weren't really available until the end of the 90s, I believe. All right, just got this loaded on. So I don't know if I'm going to need that or not, but why not bring it along? Jump into our beautiful Chevy. Got the stick ship on the floor. Like I said before, we might be making a mistake. So if you don't know, this is a 90s farm right now. It's not current. But milk prices are going to be on the way up. I think uh, there's a lot of bad press out there, like bad cholesterol. Uh, if you, you know drink your milk and your eggs and all that stuff it's gonna give you uh, health problems I don't believe none of that so uh, sugar is the ultimate culprit so fat fat is good for you fatty products so I think milk is on its way up there is some low prices out there which is one of the reason why we are kind of walking in on a uh, foreclosed dairy farm if you don't know Dairy farming is hard on the body. Extremely hard on the body. I had to make sure my three-wheeler is right there still. But it's not easy on the body, especially, man. I mean, let's just say after you've done it for a few years, your body needs some spare parts. Let's, let's just say uh, you need some parts need to be ordered in for your body to keep it going. So uh, a lot of old... Uh, dairy farms or if they can't get their kids to walk in on it uh, they end up uh, trying to sell it a little soon so this is our dairy farm so this guy was 52 years old ended up selling the dairy just because his body can't take it and he's sick of the low prices so uh, uh, we kind of found this out from local neighbors and everything like that so in my opinion, we're going to give them fair market value for this dairy farm. Uh, 
I'm imagining we just hold on to it. So if you don't know, I have a local dairy farm like really close to me, which I, if I'm driving to a dairy to milk cattle twice a day, I don't want to have to drive a couple miles. That's not what I want to do. So if I do anything, I'm still trying to walk into the dairy farm right over here. So this is a dairy farm I would like to walk into, but uh, as of right now, it looks like Grant's truck is still right there. But as of right now, he doesn't want to sell it. I am still trying hard to get him to sell it. So if you see, I'm right there, dairy farm right here. There, you know, uh, my wife doesn't have to smell the poo, and I can almost, you know, I can walk home after milking the cows. Now, this dairy farm is kind of close to me. It's not that far. Uh, you could see just way over there, over the mountain, through the woods, you know, and everything. You could see the silos of the dairy farm we were just at. Uh, but we are a little bit away. Uh, we still have cattle here, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Some of these cattle are uh, cold cattle, so basically one of the reasons why he decided to go right away is uh, either they can't be bred or they won't be bred, but they're, they're cold cattle. They, they aren't valuable as milk producers, if that's what you want to say, uh, which is why I'm thinking about just selling it. I'm gonna load them. If I do end up purchasing this, I'm gonna load them up all in the trailer and probably just sell it. Unless I can finally convince the old farmer over there to move to town so I can move into his dairy or take over his dairy or rent his dairy. Any other reasons. If you don't know, I rent them fields around his place right there. I'm really trying to rent that dairy. Haven't got it done yet. Still trying. And I know I have a dairy farm at my house. I still don't have that ready. It's not ready yet. It's not, you know, registered. There's a lot of stuff. I still have to plumb some stuff. Uh, I, I'm thinking, you know, to be honest, I'm just going to end up moving down the street or down the road will be better to start out. And then I'll expand to my farm, maybe. So that's the plan right now. So just so you all know. Uh, I'm really excited about getting a WD-45. I mean, this thing is almost perfect on this little uh, manure sprinter. Oh, man, it even starts up. I mean, even if I just use this to uh, put manure on the garden or something, I mean, why not have one of these? So, if you don't know all this, uh, he's just going to sell it as one lump sum. He would like somebody to walk in as his dairy. So, I don't know, but I'm really interested in one tractor here. In one tractor alone. That WD-9, or uh, sorry, WD-45 would be a nice tractor to have. Not, not dissing that a little bit, but let's just be honest. We're not going to hook it up to the 12-row planter. Not in any time future, you know, it's it's just not gonna get it done. So, it, but it doesn't have a dust, you know, AC cab and all that stuff. The seventy one forty. Other than our old uh, articulated tractor, would be our big tractor on the farm. You know, this could, you know, maybe pull the grain cart, uh, maybe even. Be a backup planter tractor and it I think it'd be valuable and it's a loader tractor how many loader tractors do you I mean this is a this is a big boy big frame loader tractor comes with a hay buster uh, we could always just uh, park this until we get our dairy operation running and I know you guys are probably all screaming at me like uh, just take your dairies over to your land you'll figure it out there's a lot involved in that. You just can't, you, it's not a one day they're here and the next day they're over there. It just doesn't happen. And two, most of them cattle need to go to market, period, because they're cold cattle. They're going to be more McDonald's patties than your school milk. Let's just say that. Ooh, man. 
maybe this is kind of surprising. This looks like his little splurge he bought right before selling. Ooh, yeah. Selling the farm. So he looks like he has uh, some sort of bale, you know, round bale counter or something. Got an 18 speed, of course, four remotes. Got everything you need. Uh, wow, real low hours. Under a thousand hours, so. Uh, yeah. Love to have a uh, 7140. If you don't know, this is one of my favorite cases out there. I've always loved a 7140. So that was one of my big selling points. As soon as I saw pictures and I saw, and I saw there was a 7140 on the sales description, I was like, ding, 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 ding. Go look, go look. And I, I was so excited, I couldn't hardly even... Uh, my farmer in me said I still had a chisel, but I just wanted to go here and look right away check this place out so it looks like we have a horse trailer we have a little uh grinder mixer over there a little uh mix all oh watch out watch out buddy so we got a little mix all over here on the side of this uh i'm not even sure how he fed i'm not seeing anything around so neighbor feeds them or something or maybe just feeding them all and he drops a bale in here or something it's kind of depressing that we might end up flipping this i mean maybe maybe in a long shot we could keep this but if you see this barn it's seen its day looks like it needs a new roof it's leaking uh a lot of the wood wooden walls are rotten in it and it's really hard to keep uh, quality milk production out of that barn you know, I mean look at our uh, water tank here it's got dirt in the bottom of it I do have plans on possibly keeping this quarter land right here so it looks like we got some oats is this oats I'm thinking yep so this is a big quarter land that place right there isn't included into the quarter so uh really not sure who owns that place it wouldn't be it would be nice to own that place but uh, it's not for sale we would have to force somebody to move out of there and uh yeah good luck with that everyone wants to move royal little uh farm acreages and all that stuff are almost impossible to get nowadays so yeah good luck trying to move somebody out of that so money talks but we don't have money so that's for sure there uh, I do kind of like the feel of this you got this little uh, canal running through over here the trees is a little worry worrisome that the canal and everything is so close to the farmyard and our little uh the shed or our quonset as i would call it uh it is kind of close i guess in a, it's not really that far away so we do have a little bit of distance it is running right behind this so you might have foundation issues which is another bad thing but I think I'm gonna put a uh, some money down so 300,000 for the farm hoping you know I'm gonna clean it up I'm gonna clean up all this trash around here clean up you know maybe even update the farm or the barn here get it all updated so somebody can walk in have a dairy operation so I would like to sell the acreage here keep the land farm the land around it and then hopefully somebody would uh, uh, basically I could get somebody to buy the, the the dairy operation a young person and I could keep farming the land that's the plan we're gonna flip this uh, if you want to call foreclosed 
I mean, the bank kind of forced him out of here, but he was ready to retire foreclosed. I don't know. I'm going to put an offer down on this place, hoping, hoping, cross your fingers, we can get it, we can farm the land, and uh, somebody else will walk in and do the dairy for us. I don't know. It's just a thought. It would be kind of nice to own that place right there, but uh, yeah, that's that's not for sale. So, so I'm gonna race back to town, get my bid in, and hopefully I find out soon if that dairy's ours. Guess what? Just got off the telephone. Boom! Just like that, we are dairy farmers. Yep. We milked the titties over there in the dairy farm. Nah, well, we're not going to be milking any time soon. So the good thing is we don't have to wake up early yet. The bad thing is I got some uh, cattle I need to sell. So we need to get them to a livestock auction before, you know, because we have no feed, nothing to support ourselves. Our dairy barn over there behind our semi, our beautiful old eagle, isn't ready to go yet uh, I need to get this done because I really should be pulling that old John Deere right here like this isn't even hooked up yet I didn't even I was so excited I didn't even pressure wash off my uh, 8100 yet uh, Timmy still has a few more days of disking before he really gets ahead of us uh, if you see our land over there it's already planted so we're going to have an abundance of winter crop this year. Uh, we already got our big field planted with wheat. And I believe that's oats. So we are definitely going to have more winter crops. Hold up. Hold your forks. What do we have here? Oh, that's just a uh, farm sign. I thought for sure when I drove by that, that said for sale. I'm like, what? What? Yeah, yes. Nope, not for sale. You guys are probably all yelling at me like, hey, uh, you left your three-wheeler over there. Yep. Guess I probably already knew. I was destined. Destined to purchase this. So I'm going to take this three-wheeler. Round up some of these head of cattle. Give them a little lice of out. Come on, come on, Betsy. Come on, Ringo. Yeah, Ringo, I guess, really isn't a female cattle name. Let's go. Get headed that way. Yep, there you go. Get over it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, stop there. Yeah, turn, turn. Oh, man. All right, these are our first uh, patty victims, so we still have a lot of loads. We're going to be here a while. I would say probably four more loads, so these old girls definitely had some time to put some weight on their bones, so uh, it should be some nice, old, tough, fatty meat. I know, that's rude, but they served their purpose. They've been alive. They they made their babies. We uh, the old farmer made a lot of money off their milk. Shut that gate quick. Don't want no one to be getting any ideas over there. Now I have to drive all the way back here and unload these cattle. You know it. Round two. So we unloaded them cattle. Uh. Hopefully I get a good price from the livestock sale coming up, but as you know, I'm just selling them as a cold cattle, so definitely not going to get uh, a great price off of these cattle. Man, do I love the look of my new truck. Man, sharp. I know, I'm getting sidetracked. So, it uh, looks like I still got some room in there. I think my I still got a few stragglers I need to go round up 
should be my last couple. I'm honestly really hoping that I don't have to haul one old mama all by themselves. Yeah, there you are. Just need to pick up the last of you two. Looks like we got a big old, basically, uh, garden manure pile right here. Got plenty of manure. Alright, move over this way. Nope, nope, we're... Come on. Come on. Yeah, are you... You're, you're not turning. Yep, yep, yep. Hey. You're gonna stop to eat? Come on, Mama. Come on. Everybody has their time. Yours is now. Oh, finally. Got them things loaded up. Man, them last two. That was a burger. Oh, man. I'm so glad I don't have to melt them to postings. That would be miserable. So this is the last of the 40 head that I bought from the dairy. And then, of course, we could start sprucing up that dairy to make it presentable. So hopefully, we can sell that thing. All right, man, got my five loads hauled already. Uh, don't know the best place to park this thing. Where should we park it? Uh, I guess uh, right where the old farmer left it. Maybe he left it there for a reason. And I have a three-wheeler right in front of me. Don't hit that thing. Yep, just barely missed it. All right, yep, it's parked right there. It's old crooked. It's not a convenient spot, but come on, three-wheeler is in our way. I'm going to try starting up our new 7140 here. Listen to that. Doesn't even hesitate. Just fires up almost right away. Pull this out. Pull the old hay buster out here. Not sure where I want to put the hay buster right now. Yeah, we're gonna leave the hay buster in there. I'm not thinking. I don't know why. Why? Why leave it outside when I can leave it in this uh, shed here? Back it up just a little bit. Unhitch all this stuff. Good to go. Got our uh, wheel chocks in. Yeah, I'm gonna drive this home. Why not? I get to show Timmy my new big tractor. This might be Timmy's favorite tractor on the farm now. But uh, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later over here in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Don't forget, like the video. Whoa.